with the 21st pick of the 2020 MLB draft, the St. Louis Cardinals select Jordan Walker, a third baseman from Decatur High School, Decatur, Georgia. Hi there, my name is Michelle Jackson and I am from Washington, D.C. Currently working as a registered nurse, taking care of the adolescents in our community, giving them the best care that they need. My Washington Nationals are on the clock. Michelle, thank you, and thank you for everything you do for all of us. Uh, Jordan Walker hails from Stone Mountain, Georgia. It describes his frame pretty well. This guy's a beast, man. Huge body, light tower power. Uh, you know, Georgia's known for turning out some prep talent. Think Matt Olson, Austin Meadows, Byron Buxton. Uh, Walker is the state's latest Gatorade Player of the Year. Some of the best power potential in this draft class, and Harold couldn't wait to break down Jordan Walker. You know what? He, the big frame is the first thing you notice, how big and tall this kid is. Again, last summer, I got a chance to meet him. Jermaine Dye. Dan, that was the first guy that came to mind for me. Now, the difference is Jermaine Dye was an outfielder. Can you put Jordan out there eventually someday? Yeah, but if you watch his hands, he can play in the infield still. I think he'll end up on the first base. But here's a look at how advanced I think this kid is. Watch how he takes a ball the opposite way. He's 6'5", 200 some pounds. Jermaine Dye is 6'4". I got a ball that they're going to both hit the opposite way. That's an experienced young hitter. For high school to take a ball and shoot it to right field, that's pretty good stuff. But he's got major power. He's hit balls a long way. He's got great power, good strength. But for his size, I was so impressed with his athleticism. Here he is at third base taking ground balls. And then I watched him in the game uh, being able to play a lot of first base. A lot of guys move all over the place, but I like him at first with his size and, and everything else. But what's most impressive when you talk to this young man is how intelligent he is. He comes from a family of educators. He's, he's agreed to go to Duke if he doesn't sign. I mean, just upside talent, potential, uh, just a shining, bright personality when you meet him. Mm, so the Cardinals got a good one. They did. Oh, yeah, impact. The impact player at my comp on was Chris Bryan. I think he does stay at third base. I think his movement patterns are great there. I mean, if you want to really look and dream a little bit, there's a little bit Dave Winfield in there, too. I mean, oh, this guy, wow. Yeah. This guy has special. a special bat. And that ball you saw him hit the right field off of Jared Kelly, that was in high 90s. And yeah. so he, he, he hits a good fastball. This is another kid, I do believe, with a long summer, spring season. He even goes higher than this. I think this is a very special player and a special person that they got. It's a strong high school class, regardless of whether or not they played a senior season.